Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I thought today would be a great time to just do a sticker off the top of my head celebrating St. Patty's Day. So I'm gonna show you how to kind of add your extras in there, make it really personal, and then also show you the hack where it has the peel off stickers. It's the easy peel stickers so that there's a lip around the sticker um, so that you can easily peel off. All right. So let's get started. Before we do though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support. And all right, so first thing is, I don't know what we're doing yet. So let's go into images and see if we have any St. Patty's Day. And see what kind of cute stuff we've got here. So I wanna do, I don't know what kind of cute stickers, but you know, kids love stickers and I just wanna make that happen. Um, Oh, uh, I wish I could do a unicorn. My daughter's not into unicorns, but let's see if there's anything fun and cute in here. That's cute. Um, all right. I want my little leprechaun. Um, I want a shamrock, but that one has writing in it. You know what? Uh, no, let's not do that one. Um, Mm -mm -mm. Oh, here's my shamrock. Uh, yeah, I'll do this shamrock. And um, see if there's anything else. Just let me add in a few things. Um, I don't want to encourage smoking. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, Let's do this little pot of gold. Okay, let's add to canvas. So we've got a lot going on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of like mix and and match, mix and match. <laughs> okay, so we've got our pot of gold. Now, the fun thing about using SVG files is, and to turn them into stickers, is I can pretty much make these any colors that I want to. So I want the shamrock kind of dark. So I'm gonna go darker. And the shamrock's gonna be basically my background. So <clears throat> I'm gonna have the, the sticker cut in the shape of a shamrock, okay? I want my pot of gold in here. And I don't love this color. Um, hmm. I feel like the gold is so hard to see. Hmm. All right, we'll leave it because I don't really, I feels like I don't have a lot of options. Okay, um, arrange, send to the front. I've got my little lucky guy here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, I wanna make this green even darker. Okay, so that I can see things a little bit. So other things will pop out more. And I'm gonna do something like this. i um, put this in front of his hand. So here we're just arranging things so that, you know, it just looks like it fits in there. He's kind of holding the pot of gold right there and maybe we can do something cute down here. I'm gonna put my daughter's name. So I'm gonna go to text and I'm gonna type in Charlotte. And you know, I'm gonna go to my favorite font. It's Hannah Berry Coo. Um, she loves to see her name in cursive as well. So I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna make it right here. And you know what, wait, hold on. I'm gonna make it big so I can see it. I'm gonna ungroup it. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna throw in a, let's see. Should I do a green heart or a gold coin? Let's do a gold coin. Oops, not shape, let's go into images. Let's put in gold coin. And we're gonna try to personalize this. Let's see here. Oh, this is perfect. This little guy right here, add to canvas. That's cute, right? Um, oh, hold on, let me grab this. I'm gonna, I want her name maybe in white. Um, or you know what? Maybe we'll make it in green. And we'll do an offset in white. So it will really pop, maybe. 
we'll see how that works out. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see. Do I want to, you know, I don't want to weld that. Hold on. I want to weld this though. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's weld it. Let's throw this in here. We'll bring this coin to the front. So we're kind of just working, like I said, working our way through making this design our very own, right? And then I'll grab this and let's do an offset. And we'll do a super thin offset. I personally, I like my super thin offsets. I'm gonna do point oh five maybe. Okay, I'll apply. And that offset right here, I'm gonna change that to white. Okay, so now, and uh, let's see. We can grab this and make it smaller so it fits in our little thing right here. So you know what I don't love? I don't love this. All right, that's for another day. <laughs> okay, let's say we like all of this, right? Now we're gonna grab the whole thing and we're gonna do an off, um, wait, let's flatten it. So we're making it into a sticker. So this is what our sticker looks like, okay? So it's got the shamrock, we changed some colors, um, got the name in there. If you like this, then we're going to add an offset. The offset I'm gonna do at point, one five okay so that's gonna be thick enough so that the paper is there it's easy to find and peel off okay so I'm gonna apply and I want my offset you can change it to basic cut okay you want two offsets and I will tell you oops so on your offset you want to duplicate it okay send it to the back arrange send to the back and then grab all three items and go to align center and then attach. So let me tell you what we have. So we've got three items on here, right? We've got our flattened print thin cut sticker. That's the dark green clover with our leprechaun and the gold coins and Charlotte's name. It's gonna cut, we're gonna send it to our, you know, Cricut and it's gonna cut around the shamrock, okay? Then we've got two offsets. The two offsets are the lighter green. That's going to cut around two times. It's going to cut through the sticker paper and that's going to give you the sticker and the offset for an easy peel. That's all you need to do. Okay, so this is now done. Um, we need to figure out how big our, our uh, little stickers are going to be. Stickers are usually like two and a half inches, let's say. So let's make this, I'm gonna change this to two and a half inches, okay? So this is each sticker. What you wanna do is, let's bring in the shape of a square and unlock it. And we're gonna change the dimensions to 6.75 by 9.25. This is our limits for print then cut. We're bound by these sizes, by this, by these dimensions. So you're gonna arrange, send to the back, and now we're gonna line up our shamrocks and see how many we can fit and make it work for us. You know what, before we do that, hold on. Let's go to make it and just click on map, continue. And let's see, I'm gonna just type in eight and see how many sheets we it would take for us to get eight. Okay, so um, according to Cricut, we can only cut six stickers. Let's see if we can beat that. Sometimes the shape is what it is and we can't beat it, but six is, is what it's determined as the best size. Let's see if we can do better. I think we can do better. Right, so now I can smush these closer together. Right? Um, I'm gonna control copy. Oh man, it's gonna be tough to get any more in there. Um, let's see. Can I squeeze one in here? Oh, I can. We 
which means I can squeeze in one more. <laughs> so, all right, so instead of the six, I got an eight. So now that we know this is, we can get rid of this, we're gonna grab all eight and we wanna just double check, right? So our parameters are 6.75, this is 6.6. 9.25, this is just a little bit over nine inches, so we're good. We're going to attach it and we're gonna send it to our maker. Um, and that's all that there is, but you know what? I am like not happy with the way Charlotte's name turned out. So I'm gonna be messing around with it, but I will make these stickers and then I will um, have pictures for you. All right, I hope that was helpful. Happy St. Patty's Day. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, no, I wanna tell you, I use Neato products. So that's why I only did two, two offsets. If your sticker paper is thicker, you may need to do a third offset. So I would just duplicate another, um, um, duplicate this basic cut and then align all four items then, right? It will be the sticker and then your three offsets. Um, needle products, I only need to do two, two offset layers. Um, but yeah, sorry, I wanted to make sure just in case. Um, and needle products for the month of March is running a 50% off sale. So if you use my link, that would be awesome because I get credit for it and I get a little kickback. Um, the 50% though, to be honest with you, is more for if you don't trust me <laughs> and you're not sure how many stickers you're gonna make or how many times you're gonna do print then cut, um, then buy your you know 10 sheets at 50% off and that way that's the best deal. But if you trust me, then you would buy more than that then you should just use fans 25 and that gives you 25% off. The 25% off is a better deal anyway if you buy, you know, the bigger, because when you buy in bulk, it's going to be a cheaper price than even at the 50% off. So I I have hundreds of sheets at my house <laughs> and it's not just for stickers um, because I use them for my uh, cake toppers, for anything where cardstock is too much to deal with, whether it's because it's too many layers or it's too intricate or uh, too detailed, you know, um, you can use print then cut so that you can still get those characters and the other items you could use cardstock and still make it really pretty. Um, so yeah, anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. I'm gonna say bye, see you guys later. <laughs>